You know what? What? They didn't like my tofu recipe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with... I thought it was good. The Greek oh, tofu yeah, was, was delicious. Good. Yeah, sure. And nobody liked the sure. videos. <laughs> oh, stop oh, it I'm now. kidding. I'm kidding. This is Jill for today. Yeah. Hey, what's that thing Honey, there? I don't know, but it, it almost hurts the eyes. I know. We've got this bright light oh, my outside gosh, huh? that we haven't seen no, in forever. it's just beautiful. But, uh, they call it sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> of course, next week, we're looking forward to snow yeah so and today we, oh we I'm had sorry. some snow this week we did indeed yeah, not a lot but a little bit yeah. yeah so we're drinking this morning it's because it's morning i'm having the synergy brand i think this is called mystic mango mango mist this is kombucha kombucha right? yes and i'm having orange juice with uh, nutritional, nutritional yeast, yeast. Yeah. in fact you know you one time you had that and i cannot recall now for the life of me it can't remember her name. I've got it on the tip of my tongue. She wrote, she said, are you kidding me? It's nutritional yeast and orange juice, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's healthy. Very. Lots of B vitamins and all kinds of good stuff in there. Okay. It's the only part of my body that is healthy. Well, we're working on that now. Yeah. As we can see, that was this morning, moving a chair. Yeah, well. Oh, okay. well. Oh, well. Okay, so... Um, well, let's see what's, here. What's new? I know. Some things are new. Let's start with the stuff that's old. So okay. The, we, the Me. Sh uh, as some <laughs> of you recall, we had a leak in our garage. I think most mm -hmm. of you know that. Yep. And they tore out all the sheetrock, and they left a lot of insulation up there. And the guy was supposed to come and repair it. Right. Only $1,000. What a deal, huh? And then he didn't show up. <laughs> he didn't show up. Yeah. Finally, so, I contact the contractor. I said, if he's not here by 11, we'll have to reschedule. Well, supposedly, or I oh, mean, what they told us is yeah. he had a family emergency, so that's rescheduled for next week. And then the heater update. Now, again, as many of you know, we've been having heater up. We've been having heater issues since October, and generally September. Actually, you're right. And generally speaking. We've had heating problems all winter long, right? It'll be June before we get it squared away. So he hit it. So anyway, we the original heaters we bought didn't work. Mm -mm. They had a glitch. Uh, they sent us new heaters. You know, basically the same problem. Um, then they decided it was a thermostat, blah, blah, blah. blah so blah, they blah. eventually sent us brand new heaters in the box and a brand new thermostat all at their expense. It took forever to get here. They came from Canada. So during that time, we decided we're going to go with uh, heaters made in the U.S. and the- Local electrician. Right. The one problem is the heaters made in the U.S. aren't the same size as the heaters made in Canada. So we had either two choices. We could put in the uh, U.S. made heaters and then have a drywall guy come in and do drywall and painting. Which, which always shows. It always shows. Yeah. And it's very expensive. Terribly. Or we, they offered a plate that goes around the thing, around the heater vent. So we opted for that. Well, he sh the electrician showed up and the plate was about the size of our sliding glass door. Oh so my gosh. it was huge and Just it would have made the place look very, uh, kind of like a hospital oh. hallway or something. Terrible. It's ugly. So now we had to go and choose a different <laughs> brand of heater, oh, um, which they're working on getting. And of course, those are $170 each more than the old heaters. So. But they promise us and the uh, wattage is better. Go ahead. And we'll have those within the next couple of weeks. So, so there you say, are. Yeah. It's an ongoing problem. So oh. anyway, we're just have resigned ourselves <laughs> to be perpetually uh, cold. I wear um, uh, what they're called uh, 32 heat or heat 32. We got them at Costco and really they are excellent. They're very thin. Uh, and it's an undergarment. They've got the leggings and they've got the shirts full, you know, long sleeve shirts. And they're pretty darn good. Uh, don't you think? The Heat they're 32. Pretty good. I don't notice that they keep me that much warmer, but I'm cold all the time. Well, so, and then you put all your other stuff on it. Okay, moving on. That's all really dull stuff. Okay. So, 
the night before last. Now, I don't sleep well anyway. I always tell them I'm just out here wandering the halls at night. Yeah, sleep is highly overrated. So about 1 o'clock, I said, oh, no, we've got one of our alarms. And I was in bed. One of our smoke alarms is going off, beep, you know, really loud, beep. So I woke him up. I said, we've got an alarm that's gone off. So he comes out. He's half asleep. Actually, I was totally asleep. And I determined, because, you know, they kind of echo. We, and we have carbon monoxide uh, meters at our fireplace. I said, no, it's this one up on the ceiling, right, in the hallway. So we don't have a ladder that goes that high. So what does he do in the middle of the night when he's half asleep? He gets on a step ladder, steps on that, and then gets up on our bar chair, which is pretty tall. And I'm, I'm spotting him, knowing he's going to go down. So he fixes it but it's not the one it, it, he fixed it and it's like stopped for about 30 seconds and then it started up again i said oh gosh we've watched a couple of these game warden shows in texas and the northwood maine new hampshire that kind of thing and when somebody's lost in the woods they always fire a shot mm. thinking that somebody oh, will go. fire a shot back and they do and the uh, game warden always says oh yeah they're they're in that direction. They take off. Well, when you've got eight different alarms in your house and one of them's going off, and you that can't, wouldn't work for me no. because I'd never find out. So go ahead. It's, I it, thought it was two or three different alarms before we figured out what it was. It was the carbon monoxide alarm, and he carbon monoxide. No carbon, carbon Miranda. He could not get that darn thing to quit beeping. No. I mean, it was like. And it's loud. Oh, my gosh. We've got a brand new neighbor. We're in condominiums. Brand new neighbor next door. And it, there was no way she couldn't have heard it. it we have good walls. but so I, took, I put new batteries in everything. Didn't and, work. And uh, still kept going off. So I figured it was, it was the alarm. It was just broken. So I ordered a new alarm through Amazon. And it just arrived yesterday. Mm-hmm. But before I went to the expense of that, I went over to Costco and bought some new batteries. I put new batteries in everything. Everything works like a charm. So the so, new the new carbon monoxide alarm is going back to Amazon. So. But he went up and got, and this is, I think everyone should do this if you don't make it a habit, really. They say you should change your batteries at Easter and at Thanksgiving, I think it is. or Every Halloween. six months, yeah. And we've got it on the calendar now, and he went through and changed all the batteries so they're all fresh and and actually our fire alarms are hardwired but the, it knows when that battery is dead so that's a good suggestion for you okay moving on and then lo and behold if you look on the batteries they actually have a date on them and i realized all our batteries were out of date despite the fact that they say they'll last for five years or ten years don't it ain't necessarily no so. no it's not so okay moving on um let's see here Okay, we decided to change. We decided to change car insurance. You know, our insurance just went berserk, and I think I think everyone in the country is experiencing is that the insurance. And we'd be interested to put something down in the comment section if you've had insurance uh, rates go crazy. But we did. So he, we'd been with State Farm forever, and we we left them quite a while ago. Yeah, I was with State Farm for over forty years, and then left them and went to. All state and was that with them for a number of years, and then we left them and went to. Um, it's a local company. Pemco. Pemco. And anyway, the rates just kept going up higher and higher, despite the fact no tickets, no. Uh, mm, moving no violations, accidents, nothing. Power nothing. 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 And so you know, I had all these people constantly bombarded with things from insurance companies and everything, and I called around and. Nobody, you know, nobody could beat the rates I had. And finally, I, I got, after I had renewed the policies with uh, Pemco, I got a flyer from an agent from State Farm. And I called her up and discussed the coverage. And they were a little cheaper. Um, local. It's an actual local. agent. Local. You have an agent you can actually talk to. Reduce the number of policies from... Uh, Reduce the number of companies from three to two. Actually, we had gone to Geico after Pat. Oh, that's right, Geico. But yeah. Geico had their homeowners insurance through Travelers. 
They had their uh, um, oh, earthquake, insurance. earthquake insurance through Palomar, and they did the car. So we were able to reduce the number of insurance companies from three to one and the number of policies from three to two. Uh, yeah, three to two, because uh, State Farm includes the earthquake insurance. So they said, she said, would you be interested in trying out the little monitor? What do you call that? Monitor? Monitor. Car for- monitor? Where you put driving monitor. You put it in your car. It's a, it's a G- GPS. It's also a, uh, it's an app. And it monitors, which, and we don't like this part. It monitors where you're going. But it, it also, knows, it, it follows knows. You. It's like your government. And it follows you, and if you have any um, fast stops, if you turn a corner too fast, your speed, you have, yeah, all these breaking things. distractions. If you take oh, your phone, phone calls, oh and your, gosh, even if the phone call is coming in on your car, no, is that, no, that's not right. Yes, oh, it is. Not oh, your yeah. phone, not your phone, your yeah. car. The phone calls come through the car, and it knows that. Yeah. Okay. It sure? knows everything. It knows everything. So we said, sure, let's give it a go. And anyway, so it, it, it reduces our rates. Yeah, it. Uh, we save $81 every six months by having it. And but I, he, short sto- he stopped short yesterday. I didn't stop well, short. Well, it said you Even did. Even though the app said I did, <laughs> I did not stop short. I said, short. where did you stop short? And you know they actually, uh, it, because they give you a little bit. Ma- yeah, it, it shows exactly where the incident occurred. It's amazing. One positive thing, other than saving 80 bucks every six months, um, one positive thing is it really makes you more aware of your driving. Mm -hmm. You know, things I've done in the past, like make a quick right turn to get out in traffic. I don't do that anymore. I allow more distance for stopping. So I think I'm a better driver with it than I was without it. It's as I told him, it's a behavior modification and you get your reward, you know, yeah. you get uh, a nice little report and then you get a discount on your insurance. Yeah. If you have State Farm or any of your insurance companies, you should look into that. We didn't, we were kind of hesitant. It's free. That's the other thing. You don't pay for it. Mr. Nars. Okay, moving on. Yep. I, and it, oh. it won't raise your rates even if you're a crappy driver. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah, it can reduce your rates but it won't raise them. So there you are. Um, I designed a new banner for my YouTube uh, channel. I designed it. It's okay. It's different. And if you've taken, if you've seen it, I would love to know what you think. So leave a comment in the box down below. I'd love to know what you think of that. We have been watching some movies. We have. And um, we've got a list here, and some of them we've seen before. But, you know, it, and I, maybe you've experienced this. I don't care what age you are. Maybe I do. I, I don't know whether a uh, younger um, audience would say, oh, yeah, we love this movie, or there's lots of movies available. It's really hard for us. We have a hard time finding new movies that are, like... We're hard to please. We are hard to please. So, we have... We saw Doc Hollywood again with Michael J. Fox. I mean, honestly... It's a great movie. If you haven't seen it, please rent it or get it on free or whatever. I love Woody Harrelson. Oh, my gosh, he's so funny. <laughs> and uh, uh, Bernard Hughes. Oh, Bernard he's Hughes, He's yeah. so great. And that's and so... Mm, Woody ahead. Harrelson, if you haven't seen 2012, is worth seeing just for Woody Harrelson. Absolutely. Role. That's another fun movie. So if you have a chance to see 2012 or Doc Hollywood or just see him again because they're, they're light, um, they're distraction, you know, I mean, it's just... The other one he watched, and I watched a part of it, is Draft Day with, uh, it wasn't, who was it was in there? It wasn't Brad Pitt. It was Brad. No, it wasn't. No, Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. Pretty good. If you ever saw the movie Moneyball about. Uh, that was Brad Pitt. Yeah. yeah. That was uh, Brad Pitt about the Oakland A's and the general manager. This was similar, only it was baseball, and Kevin Costner played the GM. And, and it was football. Yeah, this was football. Right, but Brad Pitt was good, baseball. Very good film. Oh, it was really yeah, good. Enjoyed. And I'm not, those kinds of things don't, well, I liked Moneyball, and I thought, I'm not going to like Moneyball, mm-hmm. but I really did like this one, too. Yeah, it was. So if that's a recommendation, Draft Day with uh, Kevin, Costner. Kevin Costner. Thank you. We, and we hadn't seen this movie for many years, Lincoln Lawyer with Matthew McConaughey. How did that, how did I do with that? 
I had very recently, good movie. Yeah, I had recently read all five of the Lincoln Lawyer series that mm-hmm. Michael Conley wrote. Very good. Very it good. was a good movie. About a, an attorney who basically has his office in the back of his Lincoln Continental. Yeah, he does. <laughs> and he's a wheeler dealer and he's a he, well, he turns out to be a yeah. really good attorney, yeah. uh, but it's a good one too. So if you have a chance, or if you haven't seen it, go ahead, see it again. We just started to watch a series. We've seen one episode. It's called Code Black. I think we found it on Prime. Yeah, it's based on uh, Los, Los Angeles uh, Memorial or Los Angeles mm-hmm. General Hospital's emergency room, the oh. busiest in the nation. Yes, and, busiest uh, in the nation. Insanity. Oh, um, Insanity. Gee. It makes you never want to go to a hospital ER. Uh, it's it's interesting. We've seen one episode, and I don't know how many are in there. How many are in there? Do we even know? I don't know. But they, we, well, go ahead. The, I, go ahead. No. It, I mean, it's true insanity. What's going on in there? And we had gone to the ER for her uh, not oh. too long ago. Oh yeah, I got sick. And I go to the hospital. We walked in. There's nobody in the waiting room. They call her by <clears> name <throat> as she comes in the door they know she's coming actually that was and, martin luther king's birthday yeah and uh it was just it was such a pleasant experience. such a difference up here than it is down there they so. have this board and that's where you get the code red code yellow code green whatever and then the code black is like all hell is breaking loose yeah. code black means they have more patients than they can take care of and they have this huge board hand hand board no, noting board. It's not like a computer board that they start marking off patients and what the patient's code is. And oh my gosh. So, code black. Interesting. Only seen one episode. That's all we know. But our favorite. Oh, it's back. <laughs> it's back. It's a, uh, is that a Prime series? Yes, or? it is. Free Prime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's called Clarkson's Farm. Mm. And in England, there's a, uh, I guess he's a, TV host and former race car driver. Mm. He's had a number of programs named Jeremy Clarkson. And for some reason, a few years back, he decided he wanted to be a farmer. And he Mm, mm, mm. is the most inept farmer in the world. But he's worth a lot of money, so he can throw a lot of money at the farm. And And he's got all the harebrained ideas. So one thing doesn't work out, he throws out another harebrained idea. Yeah, and the locals, basically hate him oh, because he's uh, he's congesting the highways with his farm shop and he's always running afoul of the local council and this is a guy he wants a new tractor for his farm so he doesn't go out and buy a John Deere or a Caterpillar or whatever thing. he goes out and he buys a Lamborghini uh, tractor and uh, anyway it's a very enjoyable series mm-hmm. There is one this character. This is just, me, this is yeah. uh, this is series two, uh, uh, series two. Is that what they call it? No, season two. There's season one two. character in it, and this is in Britain, of course, but one character named Gerald in it. Oh my gosh! What and a riot! And Gerald will talk forever, and he's totally unintelligible. You cannot understand. And no, not an unintelligible. Well, some of the things you can barely understand. But is that intelligible? Is, is that the right word? I don't know. No, I'm asking. It, you can't hear. Is that un, that's not unintelligible, is it? You can't understand. <laughs> kind of like her. I can't It's understand. true. He will start off, you say, oh, I understand. And then all of a sudden he goes into this gibberish thing. And it's... The people he's talking to will just at the end say, mm-hmm. <laughs> because they have no clue what he's what he's talking about either. He's wonderful. Uh, in one of the episodes, he showed up with his wife, and I don't believe his wife knows what he's talking no, about. But no, it's but anyway, it's Clarkson's good. Farm, mm-hmm. very enjoyable. Season one and two. Yep. How not to be a farmer? Oh gosh! All right. I what think else you got? A honey pie. That's about it. I think I got it all. Got it all. Um, I'm. I've been cooking. Not much. Not much. You know, I think I've explained to you, and actually, it's just saved us so much grief. I now, when I bake or make or whatever cook, I always make enough for two meals, maybe three, but always at least two meals. One that we eat, and one that I box up and freeze. And I, I tell you, I will leave a link to those boxes. They're microwavable and reusable. They do not break down. There. They're a plastic with a lid, and I make us a dinner, which we eat, then I pack up a dinner 
for another whole meal and it's got vegetable it's got the main dish and maybe a starch like potatoes or whatever and it goes straight in the freezer and it's labeled i put a label on it, speaking a label and i said oh gosh i don't want to book today i really start pooping out because of my chemo i do i start really conking out around three when you say three thirty. So if I don't have last dinner, night, oh my! Word. Well, we hadn't slept the night before because of the, the alarm. alarm. But last night she was ready for bed at six. Oh, I tell you, well, I fell asleep on the sofa. I was just drugged. Uh, anyways, so that's the greatest thing we've done. And I've been. Tr- he keeps saying you've got to do. <laughs> that, that shows on you camera. how exciting our life is. That that's the greatest thing we've done. Well, I'll tell you the other greatest, <laughs> the other greatest thing we've done, and it is great. I don't know about six or eight months ago. We had some paste picante sauce in the refrigerator, which we like. And I went to open that up, and it it had gone. And I'm talking mold gone. It was a nightmare. So I called paste picante, and I said, how long is this supposed to last in the jar? What did she tell me? Two weeks? No, I can't recall. It was six weeks. I don't know what it was. It was some brief time. So from that point forward, I date everything that gets opened and put in that refrigerator. Milk? orange juice, ketchup, mayonnaise, I don't care what it is. Cheese, well, of course, we don't eat cheese, but I mean anything, well, vegan, anything that goes into that refrigerator and gets open, any condiment, uh, relish, anything. I'll tell you what, to know I've got that date on there, got it, you guys got to do it. Any parking words. This was mm. kind of gibberishy, wasn't it? Yeah. Long. You know, I've had someone, they're so sweet. I wish I could remember these people's names. I can't. It's gone. Hendry. I think it was uh, something Hendry or semi-country. One of the two. Um, they said, you know, she says, I'd watch you shuck peas. If, if you made a video shucking peas, I'd so watch it. So tune in it. next time. We're going <laughs> to shuck a bunch of peas for He you. is going to, I'm going to do some cleaning videos this week. All these motivational people are out there doing cleaning. He's going to hold the camera for me, and I'm going to do cleaning this week, and I promise you I'm going to do that. Boy, that's it. that'll be exciting, huh? All right, that's enough. And she's having weaving problems. I'm having weaving problems, but it'll work out. It's just, just some bugs. Not my bugs, the looms bugs. We're done. Okay. I think we're done. Okay. I made you some darn good uh, peanut butter, no, a chocolate, what were they? Oatmeal oh, chocolate oatmeal chip. Oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. I made a whole batch Again, of... Again, we freeze a bunch of... I, well, what I do is I make the dough... Mm-hmm. And then I make him a dozen. Those go in the freezer. But I put that dough in little tubs. And I put, mark it, date it. I put it in the freezer. So when he says, I got to have a cookie, I got the dough. There you go. Use your Actually, freezer. I've been dying. <laughs> For what, love? Almost every day I talk to her about uh, Whole Foods makes a vegan chocolate shake, cake that is pretty outrageous well honey i made you a chocolate cake i know you did and i have the recipe for it which i will put right up there keep hearing about this mythical chocolate cake it's an awfully good cake it is a good cake which i'll put the link to right up there (laughs) i think the last time i had it was my 60th birthday oh you had that cake about three months ago yes dear (laughs) and then we cut it up whatever you say (laughs) All right, we're done here, right? Okay, we're done yes, here. we are done. We are so glad that you are here, and we are so glad you are visiting us, and we are so glad that you are here taking that crazy ride with us that we call... Come on. A roller coaster. No. Uh, Come on. Uh, Come on. Life? The, yes, life. The crazy ride we call life. Take care. One of us is crazy. I know that. I know. It's true. It's just my personality. We love you all. Take care. Thanks a lot for coming by, and we will see you next time. And have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.